sit back and throw one back with your pinky in the air and a middle finger to the world. And join me, the eclectic gentleman, Stefan Watts, and the rest of the Gentleman Bastard Brigade as we look back on this day in pro wrestling history. But before we do, put that drink down, like, share, and subscribe, and without further ado, let's get our wrestling nerd on. It is March 4th, and we're going to start off as we always do on a positive note. That's right, these are your pro wrestling birthdays. 1940, Don the Spoiler Jardine. 1952, Ohio Valley Wrestling owner, Danny Davis. 1959, one of the Armstrong clan, Scott Armstrong. 1974, a gentleman I had the pleasure of being in the ring with, Devin Storm. 1979, one of the most underrated female wrestlers in the business of the past 20 years, Sarah Stock. 1983, independent wrestling journeyman, Bryce Benjamin. 1984, watch out, it's Crazy Steve. And last but not least, 1986, He's fabulous, Dalton Castle. Of course, on the flip side of that coin, your pro wrestling deaths for March 4th. 2010, Angelo Poffo. 2017, Bearcat Jones. 2019, King Kong Bundy. All right, enough of the sad stuff. It's time to get to the meat and potatoes. That's right. It's your pro wrestling history highlights for March 4th. And today we're going to start in the 40s, particularly 1943. Jules Lawrence wins the Midwest Wrestling Association World Junior Heavyweight title for the seventh time, defeating Billy Tom in Columbus, Ohio. Jumping to 1949, Gorgeous George defeats Walter Palmer to win the Illinois version of the World Heavyweight title in Chicago, Illinois. 1954, Emil and Ernie Dusk defeat Al and Tiny Mills for the NWA Canadian Open Tag Team title. 1957, Danny McShane defeats Luis Martinez to win the NWA Texas Junior Heavyweight title in Fort Worth, Texas. 1958, Frenchy Champagne and George Ekin defeat John DePaulo and Bobby Jones for the Madison Wrestling Club Tag Team Titles. Switching decades into the 1960s, 1962, Don Leo Jonathan defeats Killer Kowalski in a tournament final to become the first American Wrestling Alliance World Heavyweight Champion. Staying in the groovy 60s, 1964, Don Stedman defeats Ray Hunter to win the British Empire Heavyweight title in London, England. 1971, Bill Miller defeats Thunder Sayagama to win the International Wrestling Alliance World Heavyweight title. 1975, Ken Lucas wins the NWA Gulf Coast Heavyweight title for the seventh time, defeating Duke Myers in Mobile, Alabama. Just two years later in 1977, but staying in the same territory, the Islanders, Afa and Sika, defeat Bobby and Ricky Fields for the NWA Gulf Coast Tag Team titles. 1978, Dominic DiNucci and Wilbur Snyder defeat the Valiant Brothers, Jimmy and Johnny, for the World Wrestling Association World Tag Team titles in Indianapolis, Indiana, ending the Valiant's third reign. 1984 gives us a pair of World Tag Team title changes. First, Wahoo McDaniel and Mark Youngblood defeat Don Kernoodle and Bob Orton Jr. to win the NWA World Tag Team titles in Charlotte, North Carolina. Second, the Sheep Herders, Butch Miller and Luke Williams, defeat the Fabulous One, Steve Kern and Stan Lane, for the Southwest Championship Wrestling World Tag Team titles in San Antonio, Texas. They were the last champions, as the title was retired in September. 1985, Austin Idol defeats Lord Humongous, Jeff Von Kemp, for the NWA Alabama Heavyweight title. 1986, Tully Blanchard defeats Dusty Rhodes to win the NWA National Heavyweight title in Spartansburg, South Carolina. Staying in the same year of 1986, Gran Hamada wins his second UWA World Junior Light Heavyweight title in Contero, Mexico, defeating El Cutabron II. 
Jumping to the 90s, 1991, Tatsunumi Fuchinami defeats Big Van Vader to win the IWGP World Heavyweight title in Hiroshima, Japan. 1995, Stan Hansen wins his fourth Triple Crown, defeating Kawada. And last but not least, 1996, Jerry Lawler defeats Mabel in a tournament final for the USWA Unified World Heavyweight title in Memphis, Tennessee. The title was vacated on March 2nd due to champion Jeff Jarrett being injured. This also begins Lawler's 22nd reign of 5,675. Those were your pro wrestling history highlights for March 4th. I'm the eclectic gentleman, Stefan Watts, and we'll see you tomorrow.